Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny is appearing in a court in a prison in the village of Merkhovo on extremism charges. These are live pictures from inside the prison. The 47-year-old's facing up to 20 years behind bars. He's already serving an 11-and-a-half-year sentence for fraud and contempt offences. His supporters say the charges are politically motivated to silence him. Journalist Yulia Shapovalova is live with us now in Moscow. Just talk us through, first of all, what's been happening and what we can expect to see over the coming hour or so. So basically, we're waiting for Alexei Navalny verdict any moment. Its announcement is being delayed at the moment, but we're getting pictures, as you said, from the courtroom. We understand that Alexei Navalny entered the courtroom not so long ago, followed by his lawyers and now the judge. The announcement is about to begin, and uh, the whole procedure is taking place in the colony where Alexei Navalny is serving his current prison term. It's in the Vladimir region, some three hours' drive from Moscow to the east. Uh, so it's a closed-door announcement. The journalists are not allowed in the courtroom, and uh, his parents are not allowed there either. They are in a separate room in the colony's, colony's premises, watching the broadcast. So basically, we're waiting for his uh, verdict, and uh, we're waiting for some uh, for the announcement to. Uh, to, to start any moment now. Yeah, and we know that we're, you're going to be keeping across that for us, but is there any indication of how his supporters are going to react? Because he's already in jail, facing a long jail sentence. This is, to many ways, just extending his period in jail. What are people saying about that? Yeah. So, first, the state prosecution asked the court to send Navalny to serve his sentence in a so-called special regime colony, an institution with the most severe conditions for prisoners. And Yulia, can, like forgive me for interrupting request, you, and I, I, I do apologise. I'm going to come back to you in a second. We... There is a line that we are seeing at the moment saying that this is only quoting Russian news agencies coming from Reuters, saying the judge in the Navalny case saying he is sentenced to an additional 19 years in jail. That's pretty much what his his supporters would have been expecting, and indeed Navalny himself had been saying that he was uh, he was going to get. You were talking to us about how his supporters um, are likely to be responding to all of this news. Yeah, absolutely. So, nine, 19 years, as we understand. Thanks for that. Well, Alexei Navalny has been in detention for two and a half years now, since January 2021. Uh, he was arrested at a Moscow airport when he was returning from Germany. Uh, while in Germany, he was treated for poisoning, uh, following what German authorities say was the poisoning with a Novichok nerve agent. Uh, Navalny believes, Navalny himself believes, he was poisoned by Russian special services. So, so, back in 2021, he was arrested and accused of violating the conditions of the probationary period in his fraud case. And in March last year, he received a total of nine years in prison. And in the summer of 2023, this summer, uh, new court hearings on another case have begun. And this time around, he's been accused of creating an extremist community. Uh, he's under extremism charges now. Uh, and two weeks ago, on July the 20th, the prosecution demanded that Navarro Navalny be sentenced to 20 years in a special penal colony with very strict conditions. And uh, during that court hearing, Navalny delivered his last word in court, urging his supporters to fight with the current political system in Russia. So, of course, uh, huge demand and a, a very, like, you know, heightened attention to this uh, criminal case, to this uh, court case by Alexei Navalny. By the way, not just Navalny, but also a former technical director of uh, Navalny Live YouTube channel is being tried now. The um, uh, prosecutors ask 10 years in jail for him. So, of course, we're following the developments. But at the moment, we understand that uh, Navalny, his verdict is 19 years in jail. Yes, we, as we were talking about before, they, uh, this, they, his hearing or he was listening to the outcome of, uh, of uh, the case of the sentencing whilst he's still in prison. It was being fed by video link um, to him, but also to other parts as well. We caught a glimpse of it there. Certainly, what appeared to be a, um, a, a kind of media scrum, a group of uh, people from the media who were uh, uh, watching this as well. Just briefly, Yulia, give us an indication of what kind of influence, what kind of uh, uh, importance Navalny holds within uh, Moscow. Because, of course, Navalny has been on the political scene for years and he has been, as he puts it, 
um, jailed and persecuted and silenced by the Moscow government uh, for, for much of that time. Well, you know, um, it's, it's a very, you know, of course it's an opposition activist. It's a political, uh, some people consider him a political leader here in Russia. Some people call him a political activist. But so many people here really consider him a victim of uh, the current political system as well, because obviously uh, Navalny has been in politics for quite a while, um, criticizing the authorities for corruption and basically for their politics and their policies, rather. So, of course, uh, this is a very controversial uh, figure, and many people do not support him, of course, but, of course, his supporters, um, they really feel for Alexei because they, they, they say that he is a victim of this current political system. Yulia, thank you very much indeed for bringing us up to date on that. Yulia Shapovalova talking to us from Moscow.